everyone, welcome to this week's Mindset Minutes. So I got a great question last week. Someone asked me, how do you keep the momentum going? Things were really going well for this person and she just had this prevailing thought or belief or feeling that everything was just gonna fall apart or she was gonna stop doing everything she was doing or she was gonna fall off that wagon or something bad was gonna happen. And I thought, well, the first step is to shift that focus because where you, you know, your focus, your energy flows where your focus goes, right? So we do not want to be focusing on everything falling apart. And when we are in flow or we have momentum, there are three elements in place. And the number one is focus. So usually when things are going well, or you're really just like, you know, on fire, you're doing it. Uh, you're focused on the goal or the task at hand. Like you're, and there's an excitement about it, which is number two, is there's a motivation. You're wanting to do it. You're thinking about it all the time. You're taking lots of action and you're excited about uh, embarking. Even if it's challenging, there's something fun about the, you know, difficulty in it, but you're going. And the third is consistency. You're taking consistent action, probably because you're focused and you're, and you're motivated, but you're ready. You do it regularly, no matter what. And I would almost add a third, a fourth element. And that is there is this feeling of kind of positive expectancy or hope or belief that somehow, I don't really know how, but it's gonna work out, right? And as soon as that thing shifts, wow, it can destroy the other three like that. And so you really wanna stay in that state of positive expectancy of, yeah, it, you know, life is not like a straight line to nirvana. We're gonna have obstacles. We're gonna have good days. We're gonna have bad days. Sometimes stuff is just gonna get in the way or you are gonna get in the way. But what you're focusing on is really going to determine the outcome. So really take a look at what you're focusing on. If you take a look at when things are not going well or you're stuck, usually your focus is muddled. Maybe you need more clarity or you don't really know what you're going after. You haven't made a decision yet or you have, but you're lacking step two, which is the motivation, right? You're just a little, oh, it just feels so hard or it feels overwhelming or you don't know what to do first. And so you get stuck in that place and then you definitely do not take consistent action. And sometimes you're also living in a fear of, well, what if it doesn't work out? Or maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm not enough. All of those, you know, really fun beliefs. <laughs> so we want to shift all of that, regain that focus. And if you are in flow, if things are going well, keep moving forward. Keep looking to what is that thing that I can work on today that's going to um, advance this goal, this mission, this uh, intention, whatever it is that you're having. And motivation, you know, keep that excitement and that drive going. Find what's exciting, even asking, you know, what am I excited about with this today? Or how can I be creative in this and take regular action? If you're feeling a little stuck and looking for motivation, honestly, one of the first things is movement. I really believe that is a keystone habit. Uh, it's one of those things that has a domino effect. When you move your body, you move your life. And yes, see, my dog agrees wholeheartedly. She's like, yes, go move, take me for a walk. But really, and there is a reason, because exercise does all the things that's necessary for momentum. When you exercise, it's not just about being in good shape, even though that will happen too, but it taps the part of your brain that helps you get more focused. It helps you be more creative. It helps you make better decisions. So if you're stuck in any of those three, moving is going to help generate that in your brain. It also taps your motivation center. So it taps that and it elevates your mood. It makes you less anxious and uh, and it boosts how you feel. So less depressed, less tired. It gives you energy so that you can then 
take more consistent, motivated action. So do something. <laughs> Go for walks, dance, run, swim, bike, play a team sport, uh, anything that gets your body going. That really is one of the first things. And then decide, have the vision and take some small actions and do that and, uh, and you know, agree you are going to commit, do that every single day. And if you're stuck on that first focus thing, you don't know what you're wanting to do, really put the time and energy into that. Because I do find once you make that decision, it's a lot easier to sort of generate and create that more motivated, consistent action, hence momentum. So definitely do that. And at the end of the day, take a look, and this is for both, if you have momentum or you don't, take a look at what you did do. I've really actually been doing this a lot more lately because it's so important. Last week, I had, I just, it was such a busy week. I literally had things scheduled like every 15 minutes <laughs> or, or by the hour and then the next 15 minutes. And at the end of the day, of course, I still had a long list of things that I hadn't gotten to. And I was feeling like, gosh, I was so busy and I still didn't get anything done. Hmm. Notice that language, right? I didn't do anything. So that's making me believe that this day was a failure when it was not at all. And so I decided, let me really write down what I did do. And it was huge. I accomplished a ton of things that day. And then I looked at, well, what were the high value? What were the most important things? I had done a number of those too. I didn't do them all, but I did a lot of them. And so it made me feel better, like, okay, you know what, I did do a lot. And tomorrow I could do even more of the high value things first, right, eat the frog, <laughs> and, and make that happen. But it definitely helped me feel like, okay, I feel all right, I feel good, I feel energized, I feel a little more excited for tomorrow instead of drained because I didn't do anything today when that wasn't even the truth. Right? So remember, focus, motivation, consistency, three elements of momentum. If you're in momentum, do not start thinking that the shoe is going to drop. No, let some challenges might come, but keep your eye on what it is you're wanting to do. Have that positive expectancy, expect it to come to you. Focus on the good, make a I did list or what did work out list. Keep moving, and if you're trying to gain momentum, take some small steps. All right, go out there, keep on rocking, and shine.